Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So here is another modern facade design in Revit tutorial. And in this video, we'll be modeling this cool looking facade design in Revit. Let's get started. So here I'm in Revit. And as you can see, I have this basic uh, building model here, which I will be using in this uh, tutorial to demonstrate how you can create such a uh, facade design. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can uh, get this project file from my Patreon. The link is in the description anyway to create such a design we are going to use in place mass so let's go to massing inside and I'm going to uh, click show mass here first and then let's click in place mass just click OK and let's go to the east elevation here and first we'll set the work plane select pick a plane and just pick the face of this wall here now I'm going to add some point elements here so let's go here select point element and then make sure uh, draw on work plane is selected here and then we can just place two points here and let's cr uh, create some more points here like this now we can select these points first let's select these two points and then click spline through points to create the line here then we can just select this point and the other on this side and then let's select this last one and click uh, spline through points again there you go we got this kind of the shape here now we can just select these points and just uh, edit this shape like so so I have created something like this now we can just go to the front elevation here and I'm going to create a copy of this at uh, two feet let's select five of these and then copy from this point like so let's delete this just move this to the wall here perfect now let's go back to 3d and uh, we will just uh, try to edit the shape here so i think it's better to go back to the south elevation and select these points and we'll just use arrow keys and just take them up a little bit let's hold shift key and uh, deselect these points from the bottom as well and then uh, we will just deselect these as well and then use arrow keys and just take this uh, up a little bit using arrow keys then hold shift key deselect this and just take this up let's repeat that here so we got something like this now we can create a shape out of these uh, lines so let's select all of this and then filter we only need to select the lines so uncheck reference points click ok and we'll get this button here to create a form there you go we have created this shape here now let's go to the front view again and we'll cut this form so for that we first need to create a profile so let's use spline and this dialog box will pop up we need to select pick a plane click ok and just pick the face of this wall here by pressing the tab key and then we can create a spline here let's use line and just close this profile like this now we will create a void uh, using this uh, profile so let's select this profile and this time we'll create a void form just click this drop down and select void form and let's go to 3d and we got that void here let's select this face by pressing tab key and then just drag it out of this uh, form which we have created earlier perfect now let's use cut geometry and cut this void from this form there you go we have created this kind of shape here now uh, we can just mirror this to the other floors here so let's go back to south elevation and we we'll select this form by pressing tab key again 
and I think we only selected the lines so let's just make sure we have selected all of these make sure you have selected the void as well then we can just press DM on the keyboard and just mirror it to this uh, floor here there you go now with this form selected you can just press DM again and create mirror from this uh, level here perfect we need to create one more for this level press DM again and create mirror like this see that in 3d there you go it's looking pretty good now we can create voids to create these slats so but before that uh, I just noticed we have this gap on each of these uh, levels here the reason for that is the void which we have mirrored is cutting uh, this form as well so to uncut uh, the void from this form you need to uh, just go here click this drop down and select uncut geometry and select this void here and then this form there you go we got this perfect shape here now we need to repeat that here as well let's select uh, uncut geometry select this void and then this form perfect now we are ready to create these slats so let's go to the south elevation and let's create a rectangle here first make sure draw on work plane is selected here then we can just create a rectangle here like so we'll just move this line a little bit up perfect now let's select this line and let's make it two inch perfect let's create a void out of this select this rectangle go here select void form there you go let's go to 3d uh, and I'm just going to select this face here and just drag it uh, through this form here like so now we can just copy this void so let's go to south elevation select this void and press CO to copy and we will copy this at 5 inches so the thickness of this slat will be 2 inches and we will get 3 inch gap between each uh, of these slats so let's copy that at 5 inches and you see if I press escape you see it's uh, we already cut uh, this um, this form here now let's go back to south elevation and we can just create copy of this void so to select this void just make a selection like this then we can just filter this void click ok and press co to copy from uh, this void here and we'll create some copies of this now let's select these voids just hover over here and hit tab key a couple of times to highlight the void and once you select that all the uh, other voids also show up just select them as well by pressing tab key and holding control key on the keyboard so we have selected all of these now we can just press CO to copy from this point here and just create copies like this and this way we'll be able to create multiple copies of this quickly and easily so I have created the voids let's see that in 3d there you go we got this cool looking design here but I think we have some issues here again I don't know why uh, we got this gap here again so let's try to uncut the void from this form so let's select uncut geometry from here and first select this form and then uh, just hover over here and select this void perfect let's repeat that here as well perfect so we have created this cool looking design now there are two ways to create the slats we actually got the slats here but it's just a mass form if you don't want to go into details 
you can simply uh, select this form okay just make a selection like this and filter just uncheck mass void and click ok and uh, you can just simply apply a material to this or if you want to go uh, into details and create the actual uh, slides here you can use walls so let's click finish mass and go to architecture select wall by face from this drop down let's create a duplicate of this it will be two inch wall let's put that here two inch thickness and let's click ok and we can just pick the faces of this form here so just hover over here select this face there you go you can simply uh, create wall by face uh, to the other faces here as well so it's kind of time consuming so I'm just going to fast forward this part so that's how you can create this kind of cool looking facade design in Revit so that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses and yeah I will see you guys in the next video